Uh, let me start by saying that this is a good bill and I'm happy to recommend the general principles of it to the Chamber. As Deputy Convener of the Justice Committee, can I also thank the clerks for the, all their work in producing a fair and well-balanced report. Um, as we've heard from my colleagues, this bill received consensus among the committee. We heard a lot of evidence from stakeholders within the legal profession, children's organisations and the court service, and I thank them for giving evidence. So the essence of this bill is to ensure that children in the most serial, serious criminal cases are spared the trauma of giving evidence in court. That is, children who have been victims or witnesses to sexual offences, murder, assault or danger to life. It would enable them to give pre-recorded evidence much closer to the time of the offence. Lord, Lord Justice Clark, Lady Dorian, told the committee, when children are asked to give evidence at a time that is remote to the event, not only has their memory diminished, but they're more likely to be confused by general questioning about the incident. Presiding officer, this is crucial, added to the fact that asking a child to recall an event that may have taken place some time ago can be extremely distressing and traumatising. Mary Glasgow from Children First told us, over and over again, ch child victims and witnesses have told us that Scotland's justice system, designed for adults and rooted in the Victorian era, often causes them greater trauma and harm. Our understanding of adverse childhood experiences has grown and Scotland's traditional approach to justice is the least effective for eliciting consistent, reliable accounts from child victims and witnesses. Presiding officer, as we know, this bill only applies to witnesses in solemn cases being heard in the High Court, but it includes a phased approach to extending the bill to cases being heard in the Sheriff Court, which would include child witnesses of, best, of domestic abuse. I, like others, would be extremely keen for this to happen as soon as possible, as the majority of domestic abuse cases are heard in the Sheriff Court, and I'm pleased that the Justice Minister has said he'll keep an open mind on this being on the face of the bill. I do understand the need for a phased approach which relates to monitoring and evaluation of the bill in terms of court procedure and resources. And I hope that a successful evaluation can be made quickly and arrangements are put into place for the extension from the High Court to the lower courts. I also hope this to be the case for the extension to adult vulnerable witnesses in solemn cases who can benefit in the same way by giving recent unpressurised evidence in a less intimidating environment. Rape Crisis Scotland stated... Cases often take two years or longer from the police to report to trial. Then complainers may get a call the night before to say the trial isn't going ahead. This causes considerable trauma and distress and does not assist in complainers be being able to give their best ev evidence. I understand special measures are currently put in place for witnesses who have been assessed by Crown Office staff and I, I would encourage this to continue until the new rule applies. The bill also focuses on the quality of joint investigative interviews by police and social work, which are of vital importance, particularly when using pre-recorded evidence. As with all aspects of this bill, it's vital that through trauma-informed training, thorough, sorry, thorough trauma-informed training is given to all parties involved in taking evidence. And I'm encouraged to note that a new GII training programme is expected to be finalised by March. Interviewing vulnerable witnesses takes a very special skill, and these skills are most certainly necessary when carrying out GIIs or pre-recording evidence. Presiding officer, the bill does not include taking pre-recorded evidence from the child accused. From our knowledge of adverse childhood experiences, we know that these children have many issues and often are often extremely vulnerable. They are children too. However, I do understand that the right of the child accused to remain silent must be respected. And the issues surrounding pre-recording evidence before the trial has begun are complex. That is, the decision about whether they give evidence at the trial has to be made in context of what the trial has been, which can only be made at the end of the trial. To take evidence beforehand could prejudice, prejudice their case or not be entirely accurate. However, the, the Lord Justice Clark pointed out that there are special measures that can be put in place, such as giving evidence by live television link, but they're currently underused. This is not acceptable. I urge Defence Council to consider all measures that could currently be used and to apply them in all cases to the child accused to minimise the trauma involved. Presiding officer, can I say how pleased I am that the Justice Minister, the former, just, former just, Justice Minister, the Lord Justice Clark and the legal profession generally are fully supportive of the Barna House model for children giving evidence. As the convener and others have said, the committee had the opportunity to visit Staten's Barna House in Oslo before Christmas, and we were totally impressed with our visit and the one forensic interview system being carried out in a child-friendly environment. 
Shortly after I was elected, I met with Mary Glasgow and Harriet Hall at Children First, uh, who explained the benefits of the Barn House to me, and I was totally and utterly convinced this should be Scot Scotland's aim. So I'm delighted that we're making some progress towards that and, it, that, and will become and hope that it will become reality in the not too distant future. The Justice Minister said during evidence that scoping arrangements for this would be made early in 2019 and I would welcome any update on this in the uh, Justice Secretary's closing speech. Finally, Presiding Officer, this bill is a huge step forward in reducing the trauma faced by children in our justice system and I recommend the principles to the Chamber.